Good morning, everyone. Kathleen Zemanski here. I'm a business feng shui master, business astrologer, and the creator of the Time Blazer business management system. But the reason that I'm with you on YouTube Live today is because I know now more than ever, your space is such an important part of you getting back onto track. It's getting you know new clients and having harmony at home and now I'm telling you is an optimal time where you can really start looking at the feng shui of your space so what I'm doing right now this is kind of the first month that we're trying out some technology we're trying out to see even if you like this series because it does take a little bit of time to put together for you right now it's absolutely free and so let me know in the comments below that you are liking this series um, tell me what's going on with you right now. Um, are you feeling like you're going a little bit back crazy because everyone is at home, your kids are at home, and you have to work at home, there's a noise factor? What are some of the things? You don't even have a designated space. So really what I'd like to find out from you is what you're actually facing, and then I am able to help you in a much more succinct way. But what I'm really presenting to you is something that I as a feng shui consultant master do for myself. So when I started thinking about, you know, um, how I move around the space because I'm always chasing the best energy I can. Again, now more than ever, we wanna tap into the good stuff and avoid the challenging. So that's what the Flying Star System can do for you. So let's just hop in and let's get started with what we're gonna be talking about today. So can't ignore that it's the year of the rat and the big, big disruption with the rat and what is happening all around the globe. Um, we talked about this at my annual event that I didn't actually say the word pandemic, but I certainly did say invest in a mask if you're going to be traveling around people that aren't feeling well. And, you know, we knew that it was going to be bad, but there's other things that we need to be looking at as well. But before we do go any farther, if you could please, please, please um, go ahead and subscribe, comment, share, and ring that bell so you get all the notifications from us. And it's really important as a small business owner, as I'm sure you know, if you are a small business owner yourself, that it is the help of all of your communities that are gonna help you grow. So we wanna give you valuable content here and we wanna know if this is, again, something that is going to be valuable for you and I'll continue to post for you, okay? So I just need your help on just sharing for us and that will keep all this content flowing towards you. All right, so let's go back and talk about some of these big shifts that um, we were just talking about uh, earlier that, yes, it is the year of the rat, but it's also a new decade. It is certainly <laughs> big shifts as far as astrological um, perspectives is concerned because, you know, we started a new cycle with the 12 animals of the zodiac and the 12 animals of the zodiac are starting with the rat so you know when when we go around the entire dial if you will or the entire 12 it's 12 months 12 years so with this rat we are starting afresh and i have talked about you know new beginnings if you will so it is going to be a, a year that yes it could be quite challenging for some people but i really want you to start thinking about where is the opportunity in all of this disruption because it's there for all of us we just need to open up our eyes a little bit maybe take off our blinders of like how we used to be doing things and really start thinking about different ways in which we can help ourselves get back up on track okay all right so my business model is person, space, and time. I look at the person's astrology before I even look at anything else. They are somewhat standalone, but I always bring in this first piece of the business astrology. We'll talk about that in just a second. Then we have the space, which is 33% as well. You see that there's like in a perfect world, if your chart is wonderful, if your space is wonderful, wow, you can tap in already to 66% of what's happening in your 
your life. And when you add this favorable timing piece, I have a system called the Time Blazer, which is basically a personalized calendar to help you take the right action at the right time. I'll let you know. Actually, there's a bunch of links already um, in the in the live stream that you can tap on to to get your astrology, the compass styles, and then a free 30-day trial absolutely free. All right, so now we are going to just jump right over to the astrology um, piece. I just want you to know that you know, it's pretty important for you to understand what's happening in your life, but if you're sheltering in place with people, whew, I would really suggest that you go to freebusinessastrology.com and find out what is happening with them. Now, I have also, from my annual event, we did these little, um, little snippet uh, videos, if you will, of each of the 12 animals. So I have the goat listed below because we're talking about the goat month, but all of the animals are in um, the, in, I do them every year, so make sure you do 2020 so you get the right animals. So just look up all the animals animals in those four pillars. So just just very quickly, the year of birth is going to be about your social circles. It's going to be about your brand and your reputation. How far and wide can you send your marketing message? Your month of birth is about your character. So there's going to be certain animals that are going to get a little bit of a shakeup this year because your month is really about your character. So if you've noticed or have had people say things to you like, wow, I like the new you that's coming out, or hmm, um, I'm not sure if I like the new you that's coming out, that may be very much directed by the animal that's in your month pillar. Now, your month pillar is also about your career and what you're best suited at, and then your hour, your day of birth is about you. It's all about you, your self-improvement, your mindset, which is one of the biggest feng shui cures I can tell you right now. If you get your mindset into that right vibration, a lot of these other tools are just going to just open up like pennies from heaven from you. So I really want you to understand that your day of birth is a very, very, very important pillar to always, always continue to develop because this is how you are seen in the rest of the world. So the more that you are speaking from heart base and with your mind, instead of just reacting, you're going to be much better off. And the day of birth is also about your partnerships. Now, the hour of birth, if you know it, I realize some of you may have been adopted, birth records got destroyed, lost, whatever, didn't record it, so you don't really know. Um, but if you do know, it is about your uh, your legacy, if you will. What What is it at this point in your life? Now, I know I have a diverse range of people, but there's no reason why you can't, like it was, it was actually like I was in my 40s before I had my calling, which is doing what I'm doing right now. But truthfully, you know, there's people that when they first, you know, start deciding about what they want to do and they could be children and boy, they just carry that on through. So they've got a real clear life purpose. But your life purpose is really what, what do you want to be known for? So it is an important pillar, um, obviously. And then it is also about your aspirations, if you will. And it's also about your investment. So it's about, you know, how you're going to invest the money that you're making, or maybe you've inherited, um, you know, some, some valuable assets like uh, furniture or artwork or something like that. How are you going to manage that so it continues to raise in value for you? So that's what the pillars mean. So as you can see, um, I look at things at a much more business level, but that doesn't mean that these other pillars, these pillars also have many, 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 many applications from personal relationships, health. They all mean a lot of things, but my focus here, um, just by very nature of the niche that I have chosen, is business. But yes, they do mean many other things. All right. So now let's uh, just talk briefly. We are in the month of the goat. This is just a little quick snapshot of the time blazer. I'll tell you about that towards the end. Um, and then again, the down below is the link to the video for the goat for 2020 and how it is going to behave with the year of the rat. And as you can see, it's a five star animal. It's a superb animal. Now, if you have this animal in your chart, oh my gosh, I hope you're using it to its highest and best good. We've got a couple weeks left in the 
goat month. It actually the goat month actually goes until like the sixth of August. So we actually have a a good two weeks before this is going to close up and finish up for the rest of the year. And just know those five stars you see this year, you're not going to see it next year. I'm going to tell you right now, if you've got a goat in your chart, this is kind of a speed to market. Um, so start pedaling a little bit faster because this really is um, a year that we can get a lot of things done. Now there's a couple other things that the goat will actually bring about for you as well. It has an, a really wonderful problem solving energy. So it also has a feng shui application when it comes to um, to the, the goat direction, which is in the southwest. We can talk about that when we talk about the space. But really what I want you to know is you really actually have the ability. So if you have an animal in a year that you connect with the space as well, I encourage you also to start hanging out in that space because it's going to amp up all of these possibilities for you. So you got money, you've got assets that you can, and, um, tap into. You've got helpful people that you can tap into. You've got um, property uh, um, that if you've got, you know, cash is king. If you've got um, that on hand, especially in the commercial in the commercial sector, because it's businesses that are really having problems. The 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 residential, at least in the U.S., the residential market is actually doing quite well. But the commercial, you know, because of COVID, people are there's just droves and droves of people that have been um, forced to, to close their doors. So real estate is actually a nice sector for you to be in if you have the money to invest. Okay, so um, again, you want more details about that, just head on over um, to the uh, YouTube video about that and we can talk about that. All right, now let's talk about the space just a little bit. This is the annual Flying Star dial. And what I want you to understand about this is also that this energy also shifts every single year. It actually shifts every single month. Truthfully, it shifts every single day and hour, but we're not gonna get to that that um, level of detail because that's almost micromanaging it a little bit. Now, if you're doing something really, really, really important um, that like an IPO or something like that, that we might micromanage it to that, but then there's other tools, obviously, we're gonna be using that, that, that same model, person, space, and time, and even bringing in this uh, kind of universal energies to help you with strategy. But this is going to be a little bit different. Okay, so what I want you to understand, we're going to be talking about the Northwest Palace today. And in the current time frame, it's called period eight. This is the current time 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 that we're we're really looking very closely at but we're on the shift when i said that we've got big shifts happening this is one of the shifts that we are certainly reckoning with right now because we're on the cusp of, of finishing period eight going into period nine we're not talking about period nine right now but when we are talking about a period eight there's certain numbers that we like to see and those are the one those are the places we want to hang out so the numbers that we love are a one, a six, eight, and nine. So those are the numbers that are really important right now. So if you can kind of even think about that, those are the areas that we're going to want to mostly have you hang out in for the you know, the annual, but then it's looking at those monthly influences. Are they still vibrant? Do they upgrade or downgrade? I'm also liking the four. Those are the ones that I like. The ones that are a little bit more challenging, and you can even read the descriptors, are two, seven, three, and five. So in the south, center, and north, and east are kind of the areas we need to take a little bit more caution on. So, but the eight is about wealth, and it's about current wealth. So if you are lacking Lacking some cash flow in your life, this is an area you want to be using. Now, one of the things that I want to really explain about the use of feng shui in from a classical feng shui arena is that when you use the space, you are keeping it active. As in, 
I am, you know, this is my office and I'm, you know, writing and speaking with clients and whatever. Or is it a storage area where things are quiet or a bedroom gets used occasionally. I'm okay with the occasional use, but you know, if it's used constantly and it's an area that should be quiet, then that's where we have to make some adjustments as, as well. If you have in the positive areas, we don't really want to use them if they're in the more challenging areas, but if you have a door or a window, we want to make sure that you use that a lot. Open up that window to get some energy, chi flow into your space because the feng shui always starts on the outside, never, ever, ever on the inside. So we adjust the space inside, but you are actually actually getting more potential from what do you see on the outside. So yesterday I talked about, you may want to go back and listen to um, just do a um, circumvent of your space um, inside and out once you've superimposed a dial over your floor plan. All right, let's go back and look at what the month has to hold for us. So just a quick recap, if you're joining us today, the ones that are um, kind of blocked out in a uh, golden golden rod color here, um, then those are the ones I've already spoken about and we're speaking about this today. So we have three more left um, to look into. All right, so let's talk about the four and the eight. The four and the eight, um, we love the eight as you know, and we actually like the, the four as well because it's actually good for relationships and creativity and things like that. So what does it, what What's the picture? What's the story that we are able to um, connect with if we decide to hang out in that area? So basically, whatever project that you decide to tackle, or even if you're in the midst of a project that you know may not be going as planned, this this combination of four and eight is going to ha- help you take like a bird's eye view, and then help you break down the project step by step so that really this is what I want you to understand this month let's look at the projects that you're working at break it down step by step there are a number of different ways that you can do that you can do a flow chart you can do um you know mind mapping uh, journaling whatever it is but just like break it down and see where your blind spots are at see what is missing you do that and you tighten it up that's where the rewards are going to start coming in for you. So I want you to think about that. Now, the other thing is you also want to, you know, as you're brainstorming and all of that and what your next moves are, you want to be very patient and wait for the best timing because timing is very key about everything, right? So maybe hold your cards a little bit closer to your chest and then go ahead and wait for that right timing to do your important launches and things like that. So if you're willing to follow the rules and uh, go the extra mile, your best efforts will definitely reap the rewards, financial recognition, all that kind of stuff. And here's a really nice one for this particular combination is that you are able to get some either debt paid off one that would be one but another one is if you're owed money so um i i have heard from uh, a couple of clients that own property and you know people are you know default or behind in their rent or you know all kinds of bills so if you're one of those that have invoices that are just hitting a wall and people are not paying them because people are in a bad situation. So what, there's a number of different ways. Of course, communication is the first um, thing that you do. Reach out to those people um, that owe you money. This might be a good opportunity to do that and offer some sort of Uh, payment plan or something like that that can really help you guys get back in track, keep that relationship intact so that you can move forward and um, continue to work with that person because you don't want it to end up being where you end up having, you know, the problem of not 
you know, being able to even work with a client because um, they've gone default and the communication wasn't there. So communication is really the key. All right. Um, let's see if there's anything else. Nope. So I am going to go now on to the next slide. And what I've done for you is just so you can kind of see at a glance, um, you know, by icons, the blue ones are positive, the red ones, we need to take caution. So there are going to be some areas where you're just going to want to completely avoid and then other areas that you're going to want to spend some time in. Let's look at the dial just as a feng shui dial here, the flying star dial. So we are actually giving this away for free for you. So all you have to do is go to freecompassdial.com. That link is also below. And what we're going to be giving you is both the um, flying star as well as the feng shui dial. So as you can see in the Northwest, what we have going for this is cash flow. So again, if you are uh, low on cash, this is uh, definitely going to trigger, you know, opportunities that may come your way. Okay, once it comes, then spend it wisely. This is also our feng shui dial. So I talk about this as we're going around. As you can see from a feng shui perspective, perspective. The uh, animals right here, uh, th this particular sector is neutral. There really is no um, no big thing that I'm really pointing out. There's always several energies, but there's some of them are so minor that, you know, why even bother cluttering up the dial, right? So I just want you to get the, the high level points so that you really tap into them. But what I can tell you just from that previous dial, what we do have is, and that's why we layer it up just like you would you know, just layering on um, a next level. This is like two levels that we're able to um, give you for free. And then there's an, uh, the third dial, which is the universal gateway called Qimin Junjia in uh, Chinese, but we call it uh, universal gateway here. All right, and then um, the last piece that um, I wanted to talk to you about today is um, the time. So remember I said for the people that are in the Northwest, timing is of the essence. So you may want to hop on over and grab the Time Blazer. This is just one screenshot of a, a very bigger picture, if you will, of the Time Blazer. So what you want to do is just uh, click click on the link below to get a free 30-day um, time trial. There's no credit card required at this time. So there's, you know, really just, just hop over and grab it. So if you've got something coming up, you definitely want to take all of your efforts, all of your expertise. Why waste it on launching it on a time that's not personalized to you. So that's what that can do for you. So just go ahead and hop on over there and, and get that. So that's what I have for you today. Just a little um, quick announcement is um, I do Time Blazer Tuesday also on YouTube, uh, YouTube Live. I posted that on Tuesday and that'll give you a weekly review of what time is um, out there, but it's not personalized for you. So that's why I want you to grab that trial. And then number two is that um, I'm going to take a little bit of break from this just for the next three days. Um, I have a special date coming up uh, tomorrow and over the weekend, so I won't be able to um, be on with you. So I just want you to enjoy the next three days, and then we'll pick it up on Monday when I get back to um, the office. So um, we will see you then. But um, again, I do thank you so much for spending time with us here on Feng Shui Fixes, and I hope to see you on Monday. Please subscribe. Please share this information with people that you know and love and care about because this really is something that can help everyone. And it's as easy as just being in that space. You don't have to worry about a ton of other things like feng shui activations because you yourself are going to be the activator. You're going to get over there. You're going to be working on your mindset that we can bring these things about that we want to bring about. You just need an accurate floor plan to superimpose those dials that we have the link below for you and that's as simple as that so again let me know what you'd like for me to talk to you about and I'd be happy to be of service in that way for you so have an amazing day you guys great weekend coming up for you and use this material now 
couple of weeks, it's no longer going to be relevant to you. So um, it's going to j- just shift to a different, different flying star pattern, which we'll talk about next month. All right. See you all. Have an amazing, amazing day and let your chi flow as beautifully as it can. Bye-bye.